Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I'm back with another review. This is on set number uh, seven five nine six eight uh, Privet uh, Four Privet Drive. Um, this is a Harry Potter set that w that was released this year. Um, and yeah, so let's get on with the review. Okay, so the first minifigure is <clears throat> Harry himself. Uh, which we've seen this head and hair, uh, over a hundred times now in this torso. This is this pretty much the same minifig that came in the Whomping Willow set, which I, real, um, did a video on a couple years ago. Uh, and except there's one change in this set. He has a black short legs instead of dark gray. Um, so yeah. And then next, oh, no. next, yeah, let's review view Ron, so, again, same exact minifig that came in the Whomping Willow, no difference at all, um, the head looks a bit strange, uh, so if I, here, I'll get a different head, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> As you can tell, this one's pupils are thicker, uh, and the freckles aren't as thick as they are in here, along with the mouth. Uh, it's the same on the back side. The pupils are way bigger. or pupils. I personally kind of like that a little bit better, uh, this head. I think that looks better, in my opinion, than this. But, yeah, they have the same exact hair. By the way, this was the one that came in the Great Hall, so. Um, yeah. You put them back in the F Ford Anglia. Hold on. <sighs> Sorry for the noise in the background. Uh, but yeah, there's a nice little sign, and I thought uh, when I saw pictures of this set, uh, like, months ago, um... I thought this was a different piece, uh, because it looked a tiny bit thinner, or it looked thinner than this, uh, and, yeah, um, but it's just a flat one by 4 on these semi-newer pieces, and then, um, the owl, I'm not sure if this is a new owl, it might be, but I'm not sure, well, the mold is different, but I'm not sure if the printing, or the mold is the same, but I'm not sure if the printing is different or not. Um, and then, next minifigure is Dudley. Uh, I really like this torso print. I'm pretty sure this is a new torso. Um, and, uh, I know for a fact this is a new face print, which looks, uh, really cool. It looks like the actor, uh, I'm not sure what his name is, but he uses Emmett's hair, uh, and it is, it works for the, it works for the minifig, um, which is pretty cool. And there's the back of his head, which is a s scared expression. And then here is <clears throat> Uncle Vernon. Uh, this is not a new torso, this has been reused uh, over a dozen times. Um, but this is a new head, and I'm, I, I really like it, because I think it looks a lot like the actor. Uh, they got the likeness down for sure. And he uses this hairpiece, which is, which, um, they've used a lot. Hold on, I'm trying to get into focus. There we go. Um... Now, again, the back of the head, that's really cool. That's a new print. That is awesome. And then, um, here is Petunia. And I noticed a weird thing. So, for this minifigure, the waist piece, uh, it's a different color than the legs. I'm not sure if they intentionally did that, or if it was a mistake by the machines, 
but one looks like the older red color and one looks like the newer red color so uh i'm not again i'm not sure if they intentionally did that or not but yeah uh and she comes with a new torso print which is really cool um it is useful for stuff i'm not sure what minifigures it's useful for but it's it's exclusive to the set along with dudley's i think i could be wrong again but yeah this is awesome uh, and then she has a, a uh, the face print is new, like everyone else, well, like Vern and Dudley's, uh, and she just uses this hairpiece, again, which was used over a dozen times, uh, and that's the back of her, uh, that's her back facial expression. Uh, now, next minifigure is Dobby. Uh, and they released this minifigure, they released a Dobby minifigure two years ago, which I have right here. Uh, the face print is different. The torso print's the same, except on the collectible minifigure, it's a bit thicker. The printing, and it's more prominent, which I really like that. Um, I like it better than this. And even the flesh tone is more, it matches more with the head and the arms, unlike this one. Um... But yeah, they use the same head. Wow, that's dirty. Jesus. This is the old one, by the way. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure which head I like better. But uh, maybe this one. Probably. But other than that, I think, yeah, I think the eyes are the same. It's just the mouth that's different. Um, but yeah. Pretty cool. And now... Uh, oh yeah, it also comes with this. Now it's supposed to be on this uh, clear peg, by the way, but I just put this uh, with Hedwig because it doesn't tell you to do this, but he's on the roof, and his, or her, she's on the roof, and her wings are spread out. So uh, that's why I put her with this to make it look like she's flying. But it's supposed to be from the scene where Dobby interrupts the uh, Dursley's... Um, they're meeting with some people. I can't. I don't know what they do, or what the people do, or why they're meeting with them exactly. But he floats this, and then uh, he, um, it falls on their head, and then, yeah. But pretty cool. Uh, now this this is my first time getting this. They've released this. This is a new mold t uh, for this year, but um, this is my first time getting it. Getting the owl with its wing spread, which is really cool. I like this better than the regular owl they have. And then the Ford Anglia. Oops. Yeah, this is the right one. The Ford Anglia. Now, I I modified the original one, which came out in 2018. Um... I made it to where the minifigs can sit by, side by side instead of back to back. Uh, it reused a lot of the same builds, builds per se, but uh, there's a lot of differences as well. Uh, I I would compare it, but I, again, I took apart and rearranged some of the pieces. It's not done, by the way, but um, so yeah, the windows, the back windows are different. I cannot remember what it was. On the original one but the mirrors were the same the hoods different and I do have to say I do like this hood better when I was looking at the pictures um, I thought this piece kind of looked weird because it stuck out, out a little bit but I, I don't mind it I think it looks pretty cool um, and then the trunk is different uh, again I like this new trunk better than this one um, and it, it uses these flat studs rather than the regular studs. I changed them on this one. I also added flat studs to this because um, this is pretty much, well, it's my, it's a mock technically. But uh, you can see Harry's briefcase in there and then the chain, which uh, if you have not seen the movie, um, uh, he puts, Vern puts bars on Harry's window and then, uh, Ron helps him um, escape by tearing down the window. Uh, 
and then these um these are old pieces i thought this was a print originally but it's a sticker um which is pretty cool it it does still doesn't look right i think mine looks a lot better it looks more accurate to the real car um than this but I, I see what they're going there for. It still looks better than the original, uh, which which you used um, these pieces and the opposite ones of these pieces, which go downward. Um, so yeah, and now with the set, where should I start? The door uh, it has a sticker, and I kind of put it on wrong because there's a crease right there. Um, but I will take it off and probably put it back on, uh, most likely. Um, and what's kind of stupid is this is a sticker. That tiny, tiny thing is a sticker. I don't see why they couldn't have just printed that piece. Um, but, yeah. And then, I'm pretty sure this is a new color for these flower pieces. This light mint green color. And then, uh, this is a very nice bush. I like the way they, uh, they had you build it. That is awesome. That is really cool. And then, um, that crease is bugging me. Uh, the windows look really nice. They use this piece, or these pieces. Um, I'm not sure the exact name for these, but, yeah. Uh, and then, they use a lot of these pieces, these newer pieces. Uh, these made their way into, or these first got introduced these pieces and these pieces, this these pieces got introduced in the uh, in 2018 with the Harry Potter sets, but this piece got introduced with the Series One uh, Harry Potter CMF, and uh, this is cool. It's like a pipe or something. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. This thing, but and I like the way they did the roof too. That is that is really cool. Um, and then this is loosely based off of both films, the uh, the first two movies. Um, the Chamber of Secrets and the Sorcerer's or Philosopher's Stone, whichever part of the um, world you live in, it's changed. I believe it's the Sorcerer's Stone in America and then in Europe or something, it's the Philosopher's Stone. I don't know why, but yeah. Uh, and then this can fold out and there's, whoops. And then there's Harry's uh, bedroom. Which is just under the stairs. And it uses that flat 2 by 3 in that color. Which is pretty cool. That's my first time getting in that color. Getting it in that color. And there's a sticker right there. Of a horse. And then two micro figures. Which is awesome. And then. Uh, The couches, or the couch and the chair. This looks really, this looks awesome. Um, I like the way they built it. They should really build more couches like this. The one from Friends is very similar, except it's longer. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same build, just longer. Um, but yeah, I like these pieces in purple, cause, or in this purple color, because, um, sorry about that. Uh... Uh, I really like these pieces in this color because it's you don't ever really see pieces in this color and these in this color are exclusive to this set um, Excuse me, so I'm not sure if they're gonna reuse these in the future or not. I really hope so um, But yeah again, I really like this couch. This is really cool, but you cannot see too many figures on there You can only see one for example because a minifigure's arm gets in the way, but I don't mind it. They could sleep on there if they wanted to, or lay down. Uh, hold on. And there's a table with a plant on it. Uh, reuses the same pieces from the uh, out outside of the set, and this piece or this part is onto a wall. It uses these 
pieces and uh, purple exclusive to the set, I'm pretty sure. I know these are, I'm not sure about this disc piece or not, or the uh, bigger disc piece holding these on there. But yeah, it's stuck to the wall and there's just this piece um, on the ground. And then there's a picture of um, Vernon Dudley and Petunia, which is a sticker, um, but still pretty cool. Uh, and then this is actually a play feature. So if you do this, the envelopes keep or the envelopes come flying out of there, uh, just like the movie, I believe. Yeah, the first one. Um, these are all new prints for the Harry Potter sets. For the yeah, the new Harry Potter sets. Um, and they just go in through this hole right here. Yeah, this is how it works, like that. They sometimes get stuck. This is my first time actually using that, but you could do this and then just put them in there and then they could fall straight through, uh, which which is awesome. I like that they included that in the set. Uh, and then this is the window that I was talking about uh, for Harry. This is with bars on the window. It just goes in right here. And I could pull out easily just like that. And we've seen this. Whoops. We've seen this piece or this print um a lot. And then now uh, I wasn't sure how this piece was supposed to go on because uh it looked like it went on like this. But it looked weird at the same time when it was like that. It stuck out like too far. Uh, and I'm not sure if, if, it, if it is supposed to be like that. So I just put it like that. But there's a cool thing. This is actually the picture of Harry's parents. Uh, hold on. And in the new CMF series, uh, they it's this is pretty much the same picture. Uh, it, except it's this is printed onto a 2x3. A flat tile and this is a sticker on a 2x2 two two flat tile uh, this looks a lot better um, but I believe size wise it, it's this um, it, this is more accurate size wise um, but yeah there's just a desk right there and the seat Incorporating one of these newer uh, tile slash plate pieces. And now the railing, uh, just it just this piece can fold up like that. Uh, and I'm not. Sh whoops, I wasn't supposed to fall off. Uh, I could be mistaken, but I, I believe this is the first time getting these in white. I could be completely wrong, which I probably am. But. Um, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the stairs. I saw them on the box, and they're just bricks. Like, not even flat tiles or nothing, just bricks. Um, which get the job done, but I feel like they could have been a different blue color at the same time. It's just the regular base blue, um, and it just studs everywhere. So I'll probably pick up another one of these sets and modify it to where it's just uh, just tiles right here. And then, um, and I, this is a pretty cool build for the bed. This is awesome. Uh, and then it, I believe th uh, these are new. Getting the piece in this color right here. It's my first time getting that in that color. So, but yeah. Um, oh yeah, I should show the roof. That's how they did the roof. It looks pretty cool. Uh, and there's Hedwig. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where the review ends, um, but I will show you, um, I will show you Ron, or how it looks like when the, so the trunk is supposed to be open, but, but you latch the chain onto here, and then you pull, and the window just falls out. And then there there would be a bush uh, in the movie. 
Um, Vern is holding onto Harry's leg, not letting him go, and there's a bush right here, and he falls into that bush. Um, so that would be, that would have been cool if they added that, um, but they didn't, unfortunately. And the ch the chain just fits in there. It's secured by, um, it's stuck on the build, so uh, it obviously can't come off, but. But yeah, so if you liked the video, oh yeah, hold on, I forgot to show the box and the instructions. So this is the instruction book. It's a very small instruction book. It's just a square, pretty much. I thought it would be a lot bigger. Um, I thought there was gonna be two, but it's it's pretty thick as well. Uh, And that's all the pieces that were in the set, pretty much. And then those are all the sets uh, they released this year. I still have yet to get this one or this one. I've not seen this one at the store, um, but I've seen this and this. Um, I was thinking about picking up one of these because uh, I had $100. Um, but I picked up the set because it's one that I wanted for a while. And you could use this house build or this house in pretty much any build. It just looks like a regular house. And the box is pretty big. Um, this is a seventy dollars set, by the way. Uh, it was on sale, so I got this for like fifty bucks. It was on well, not not really on sale, but yeah, actually, there was a sale on all Lego. So uh, there's Ron pulling the window out, and then. There's the top showing the minifigures. And there's the back. And yeah, that's about it. So, uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And... Peace out.